how should you hold your pick? Hi guys, hope everything is good. Emanuel here and welcome to this lesson where I will give you a few tips on how to hold your pick properly. Now, this is a very important topic because how you hold your pick affects your ability to play guitar. Before I show you how to hold a guitar pick, let's talk about a few other related topics first regarding material that the guitar picks are made of which can be nylon, stone, plastic, rubber and so on I really can't say what's best for you this is more of a personal taste and preference all different materials will give you a different tone and feel you just need to find what you like and prefer here I have a Dunlop Jazz Free Pick I even don't know what the pick is made of, plastic probably. I play this pick because I simply like the feel of it. I always come back to this pick after I have tried something else. These picks just feel great for me, especially because of these letters here. It makes the pick easier to hold for me. It's important to remember though that this guitar pick may not be the best one for you. I recommend that you buy a lot of different types of guitar picks, different materials, different thickness and different sizes. Try them out and feel what's best for you. About the thickness of the guitar pick and if you should use a thick or thin guitar pick, well I would say this is a matter of taste and preference. Some say that beginners should start with Thin picks, maybe they are right. There are some advantages with a thin pick, but there are also disadvantages. I have always played with a thick guitar pick, even when I started playing guitar. Sometimes I might use a really, really thin pick if I'm gonna strum some chords on an acoustic guitar. For that purpose, I think thin pick sounds great and feel great. One advantage with a thin pick is that you won't get stuck between the strings while you play because it's so bendable. This pick is obviously not bendable, but if you are a beginner guitar player and you are learning to strum chords and play rhythm guitar, starting with a thin pick might be a good idea. Another thing is that you also might just enjoy the tone better from a thin pick compared to a thick pick. If you have a thick pick and you hold it really hard and firmly you might get stuck between the strings while you play, especially when you strum chords across the strings. As you can see I use a thick pick anyway. If you can learn to hold your pick in a relaxed and loose manner, the thick pick is very accurate and you will have more control. That's at least how I experience it. Having said that, there are of course a lot of great guitar players out there who can shred like no one else and they use a thin pick. I will soon show you how to hold your guitar pick, but before you grab your guitar pick I want to point out that it's really important to hold the pick as light as you can without it falling out of your hand. That's of course much easier than done, but that's the way to go, that's how you should approach this. It's better if you drop your pick on the ground from time to time compared to if you hold your pick really tight and firm. If you hold your pick too tight you will eventually feel some tension in your, in your wrist and arm. And like I said earlier, if you hold your pick too tight you will also lose control and accuracy and over time you might even get injuries. Okay, moving on to the most important thing here, I guess. How should you hold your guitar pick? As you can see, I hold the pick with my thumb and index finger. Only two fingers. For example, don't use three fingers like this or something weird like, like this. There are other well-known guitar players out there who can hold their pick in all kind of different ways, in really weird and unorthodox ways, and it obviously works for them, but I still recommend that you only use two fingers when you hold your pick, and it should be your 
thumb and index finger. At least start out playing guitar like this if you are a beginner. For example, one disadvantage with holding your pick with, say, three fingers is that now you only have two fingers left for hybrid picking. Hybrid picking is when you play with your pick and fingers simultaneously. For example, when I play chords, I may use my middle finger, my ring finger, pinky and the pick at the same time. This is not possible for me if I hold the pick with three fingers like this. Also, if you use three fingers, I would argue it's much harder to adjust the pick and to move all the different joints in your fingers. It's easier for me to do fine adjustments with the pick if I hold it with only two fingers. So hold your pick with your thumb and index finger. Next thing is that the pick should be coming out the side of your thumb. Like this. Not like this, but like this. Then there are three different options, I would say, how you can hold the pick with your index finger. I and a lot of other guitar players bend their index finger like this towards the palm. But not too much, you don't want to feel any tension. Just bend the finger a little bit. Then I have the pick on the side of the finger here. Then I add the thumb on the other side of the pick. Now some guitar players don't bend their index finger like this. They have it more straight. That could also work if you play like this, the pick will come out of the finger in a straight line along the nail. The third way would be to use the face of the index finger instead of the side. That would look something like this. Now I really can't play like this. I feel tension in my fingers and in my wrist right away. It feels really unnatural for me. So again, this is how I hold the pick. The pick is coming out of the side of the thumb and you are holding it with the face of the thumb. The pick also rests on the side of my index finger, like this. Another thing you should consider is how much of the pick should come out of your fingers. Should it be something like this, or this, or something between. I think you need to find your own way, but I really don't recommend holding the pick like this. If you start to hold the pick like this, you will lose accuracy and control, and you will probably drop it all the time. Now, if you can feel that the pick slips around your finger, it's normal. You will eventually learn how to adjust the pick while you're playing, but it can take some time before you learn this, month or years even, so please have patience. Regarding the rest of your fingers, I think they should be relaxed and loose. I do curl them up towards my palm a little bit because I hybrid pick a lot. I play with my pick and with my fingers simultaneously. As usual, it's important that you don't feel any tension in your fingers or wrist. If you curl your fingers up like this, make sure you don't push the fingers together really hard. That's obviously not good. I think it's okay to have your fingers curl up like this and it's okay if they touch each other, but be sure that you don't feel any tension in your fingers, especially if they touch each other. It's also important that all your fingers are loose and relaxed. If you don't hybrid pick like I do, I would even recommend that you have your fingers out like this. The only reason I curl my fingers up like this is because I play with them all the time. So now you know how to hold your pick properly, but you also need to think about your palm and where you should place it. You want to line up the side of your palm with the bridge, like this. 
Then I like to move the palm, maybe 15 degrees or something like that, this way. Here we have a comfortable position with the wrist and I'm holding the pick in a relaxed and loose manner. During my years as a guitar teacher I have seen a lot of beginners play like this, which is something I really don't recommend. In my experience guitar players who play like this often have trouble with tension in their arm and wrist and they can't play in a relaxed manner. So one more time, line up the side of the palm with a bridge and then you can move the wrist a little bit this way. Here we have a really comfortable and relaxed position with a picking hand. Now there's a million different exercises you can play in order to practice your picking technique and get comfortable with this position. Before you start working on synchronization between the picking hand and the fretting hand, just play the open strings for a while. For example, play down and up four times on each string. It's a simple but great exercise. This is not about speed, just make sure you pick accurately and that you feel loose and relaxed in your picking hand. Okay, that's it for this time. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about this lesson. Was this lesson helpful for you? If you want to learn more about guitar playing and if you want me to keep posting lessons, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Before I go, a special shout out to all my supporters on my Patreon page. Bye for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!